Hi, I'm Amy and I'm a professional makeup artist. Today I am being challenged to recreate Ariana Grande's 2018 Billboard Women in Music makeup look. In one minute, 30 minutes and three hours. This is my model Aisha. Hi, I'm Aisha. I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan. Today I'm very excited for my transformation to see how close I can get to looking like her. <laughs> So we only have one minute for this look, which is absolutely no time at all. So I'm gonna focus on the key parts of the makeup, which is the eye and the lip. So I'm gonna start with my bronzer and I'm gonna do a cheek contour by just bronzing around the edge of the face to create a little bit of shape. I'm also gonna double that up as an eyeshadow and we're also gonna do a cheek liner. For the lip, I'm only gonna use one product, Lip Lacquer, which is a mixture between a lipstick and a lip gloss. Then if I have any extra time, which I highly doubt, I'm gonna try and do a little bit of mascara. I feel a little bit nervous, but I feel intrigued to see what I can do in a minute. Okay, bronzer around the edge, under the cheek, contour, 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 contour. Done. And use the same brush for blush. <laughs> Has anyone ever done your makeup with slap blush before? No. no. Bronzer as eyeshadow. Bronzer as eyeshadow. 30 seconds. Oh, oh no. Am I really going to attempt a wing? <laughs> Big wing. Smudgy wing. We're going for the Kate Moss rolled out of bed wing. Okay, still there. The gloss. 10 seconds. Hello. Five, four, three. How'd you do? Um, shocking. So in one minute, we still got contour, blush, technically eyeshadow, smudgy wing, and a half lip, kind of. We didn't have time for mascara, but it's fine. Who needs mascara? So I'm sorry for the makeup that's on your face right now, but have a look. <laughs> you have makeup on. I think that's all we can say about it. You have makeup on. Honestly, if I had 30 more seconds, I think we could have done it a lot better. But one minute was so fast. Definitely rushed, but I can see Ariana Grande peeking through. Well, thank God you look like her anyway. What would you change if you could change anything? I would change everything. So trying to do the makeup in one minute was absolutely shocking. But 30 minutes is more of a realistic time frame. We are going to pop on a nice hydrating primer, so it's going to moisturize the skin and it's going to help keep the base on. For foundation, I'm going to use a medium coverage so we don't have to use as much concealer. To add some definition to the face, we're going to use a powder bronzer, a blush and a highlight. For the eyes, we're going to use the same bronzer we used on the skin as an eyeshadow base and then we're going to pop on a little bit of liner just with the brown shadow. For brows, we're going to use a little bit of brown shadow just to define the shape. And finally, for the lip, I'm going to use a lip liner, a lipstick, and then a gloss to top it off to achieve the Ariana Grande look. 30 minutes is what I would usually spend on a client, maybe slightly more, so I think we can get it done really well. Okay, let's start with a little bit of primer. I'm going to use a super hydrating primer just because then it will kind of double up as like a moisturizer and a primer in one. So let's start popping your base on. So I'm just mixing an olivey tone with more of like a slightly lighter yellowy tone, just to get your right skin tone, because you are olive, but you're slightly lighter, so we don't want it to look orange. So for this 30 minute look, I'm actually gonna use a brush to blend in the foundation. I just feel like a brush can be a little bit quicker than a beauty blender. And again, always making sure we take down the neck and behind the ears. We're then gonna go in with concealer. And I'm just gonna use this in the areas that the foundation didn't quite cover. Now we're also gonna use this concealer as an eyeshadow base as well. So I'm gonna run a little bit just over Aisha's eyelids like this. And the reason we use concealer as a base is because the pigments of the eyeshadows will stick to it. So it's good to put some, some concealer sort of around the lip here, just because naturally these areas can be a little bit dark. And just press that concealer in. So now we've got the base on, we just wanna set that with a powder. T-zone under the eyes. And it's always good to set wherever the concealer is, just that it doesn't budge all day and it stays there for a lot longer. So this will stop any creasing and it will help the eyeshadow's gone a lot smoother as well. You have 20 minutes. We've got 20 minutes left. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So then we're gonna take the bronzer. Now, because we put a bit of concealer on Aisha's cheek here, I'm actually gonna just press the bronzer on because if we blend like this, we're gonna disrupt all the concealer we just put on. And you can run some along the jaw down the neck. Then we're gonna do a little bit of highlight just on the high points of the face. So you just want it right on the top of the cheekbone, a little bit above the brow, down the nose. Then we're gonna do a little bit of peachy blush. 
since Ariana had a nice peachy cheek on. And I'm gonna use just a smaller brush just to get it more precisely on the cheek. So we're gonna go back to the bronzer now and we're gonna run it through the socket and onto the lid as well. Now the benefits of using your bronzer on your cheeks and your eyes is that it helps to tie everything in together because you have the same color scheme sort of on the eyes and on the cheeks so it looks a lot more seamless. At the corner you just want to bring the shadow out just a little bit just to help us create the wing shape. So the benefits of using a black eyeshadow as opposed to like a gel or a liquid liner is that you can be a little bit quicker with it because you don't need to create that sharp line. Another great trick as well if you are in a little bit of a rush is just to do the liner on the outer half of the eye because if we start filling in here we have to be a bit more precise and it's going to take up some time. It still gives that sort of cat eye look. I'm just going to take a little bit of mascara and just do a soft coat on Aisha's lashes. We want the false lash to just, to just add to what she's got already. Just in her natural lash line on the edge here. And don't worry if you can see the seam right now because we're gonna go over it with a bit of shadow at the end. So while those lashes dry, I'm just gonna fill in her brows. We don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna literally add a few hair strokes in just where there's any gaps. And this will still create a really full brow like Ariana has. How much time do we have? Eight minutes. I wish I didn't ask. So for the lip, I'm just gonna run a brown toned pink just around the edge. As we've only got 30 minutes for this look, I'm gonna use a lip lacquer, which has a pigment in it and it's got the high intensity gloss, so it shines like Ariana's lip as well. Also just gonna pop a little bit of brow gel in just to keep her brows in place. Okay, 30 minute look is done. I feel happy with where it is. It looks pretty natural still, but you've still got the cat eye in and you've still got the full lip. I would probably add a little bit more brow here, maybe a little bit more highlight, but I think for an Ariana Grande 30 minute look, it's pretty good. Do you want to see how it looks? Yes. Wow. Loving the eyelashes. Looks very natural. Definitely getting closer. I'm really happy of how the 30 minute look went but I'm really excited to do the three hour look. I feel like for a red carpet, Ariana Grande probably would take three hours to get ready. So for the three hour look, we're really gonna focus on skincare because it's absolutely vital to achieving the most flawless face that we can get. We're gonna do a really light layer of foundation. And now that we have more time, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a really nice contour. The eyes in this look are a really key part of her makeup. This time we're gonna add in a nice wing. Ariana had a little bit of iridescence on the eyes, so we're just gonna add a really fine amount of glitter gonna demonstrate how to do a microbladian technique using a pencil and some clear brow gel. We're gonna do a little bit of contouring around the lip and we're also gonna fill in the edge using a dark brown lip liner. At the event, Ariana Grande had a really shimmery chest. She had a nice glow on her shoulders and a nice bit of tan. So we're gonna recreate that on our model today as well. So I think Aisha's gonna be really excited after this look. She already looks like Ariana Grande and now she's gonna look even more like her idol. All right, you ready for some skincare? Yes. Okay. This is kind of like a toner and cleanser in one, so it's gonna prep the skin really nicely for makeup. So we're kind of gonna bring the spa to the home today. So we're gonna start off with this mask. So it's really good as a makeup base, because if your skin's hydrated, then your base is gonna be smooth. Okay, so we're gonna leave that on for about 15 so minutes. So next we're gonna do a little bit of eye cream. This is my favorite eye product because it has a nice bit of sort of yellow tint to it, so it really brightens underneath the eyes and reflects a little bit of light. For moisturizer, I'm gonna use Le Mer. This is a really great moisturizer because it's nice and rich. Also, it's a Kardashian favorite, mm. if anyone cares. So now for an added bit of luxury, we're gonna use a jade roller. It's really great to reduce lymphatic drainage around here. And it gets the skin looking a little bit more radiant and smooth. Primer. In the image, Ariana Grande has really shimmery sort of collarbones. She had a nice tan going on. You can buy you know, like body glow products, tans, but I'm gonna make my own with some products we already have. I'm gonna go back to the La Mer cream. Once that's on there, you can use any sort of highlight drops you have. I'm gonna use a pink toned one and I'm gonna use a gold toned one as well, just to warm up the skin. On the collarbones, just here, I'm just gonna blend that in. If a red carpet, Adding makeup to the body is just as important as the face because there's so many photos and obviously lots of flashes. So when the flash goes off, it picks up all the high points here. Becca, Shirin, Skin Perfector and Opal. That will stick to the cream products we just used, giving a super highlighted effect. For foundation, I actually like to use a flat brush first and then with a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna press it into the skin. I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Concealer. So we're popping this directly onto Aisha's skin as she's gonna keep this product afterwards. Naturally, hormonally with women, we do get red sort of here and on the chin. So you do wanna put a little bit of extra coverage there just because the redness is gonna come through the thin layer of foundation we did. We're now gonna begin our contouring process. For the contour, we wanna bring it from the corner of the eye down to the edge of the nose here. 
Now this definitely is not an everyday makeup look. This is camera ready makeup. So what I mean by that is it will photograph beautifully and it'll be nice for a sort of evening or an event. Cupid's bow, center of the chin, just to make that look more defined. In between the brows and just a little bit down the nose. Whatever's left on the beauty blender, just disperse it over the eye. And that's gonna be our eyeshadow base as well. I actually really like to use the Fenty Beauty sticks. We're just gonna run that under the cheekbone, just around the temple here. Same on this side, a little bit under the lip. And if you flick up as opposed to down, it will give you the carved out cheekbone look a little bit more. Now the trick with nose contour is you wanna start it here not here, because you'll see where the lines start and finish. And then bring it down. And then you can run a little bit just under there, just to define the tip. This is going to become part of our eyeshadow, so we're just going to diffuse that line and bring it across into the eye. Because we have more time for this look, we're going to really work on just contouring with cream products. And we are going to come back to the skin in a minute, but we're actually going to start to bake first. We're just going to use the edge of this to create just a line. This will bring out the contour even more and make the cheekbone look even more defined. While we're here, I'm just gonna set the eyelids as well. I'm now gonna do this going from the corner of the eye to the temple, and that will give us almost like a stencil to create our wing width. The other place we're gonna bake is down the middle of the nose. One hour and 40 minutes left. Oh, okay. That's good, I can make that work. Now we're moving on to the eyes. The first thing you wanna do is just make sure the eye is set. This is key to keep the eyeshadows on all night and to stop them from creasing. Now in the previous looks, because we had a lot less time, bronzer is the only product we used. For this, we're also gonna use the same product, but I'm gonna build on it with some glitter and some more liner. Now she does have a winged liner, but she also has a lot of brown eyeshadow being winged out. So I'm just gonna run that along the edge of the bake line, just like that. I'm then gonna make the lid space a little bit darker with some brown shadows. With a wing shadow, you want it to go from the corner of the eye to the edge of the eyebrow. So that's a nice guide for us to follow as if there was a line there. Now we've got the shape in place using the black shadow. The first line I'm gonna draw is sort of the bottom edge of the wing. And I'm gonna join that to the eye like that. And then, just work on sharpening it. For this look, you want the glitter to be really scattered and sparse. So a trick to create that look is to use a little fluffy brush. Just pick up a little bit of the product and tap it out. But because we want that dispersed, I'm literally just relying on the eyeshadow to hold it in place. So in the light, you can just see it reflecting. We're also gonna add a little bit more gel liner just on the inside of the eye. So how are we doing for time? One hour. Okay, feel good. I think I might even be done before the time frame. dare I say it. For our third look, we're gonna use a slightly bigger lash. Ariana definitely had some lashes on, but they weren't too big and heavy. So we're gonna go for a nice, fluttery, soft lash. Not too high, so it's obvious, but just more where the liner is, and that'll lift the eye even more. Bronzer, where we did the contour, blending it out a little bit more. So next we're gonna do highlight. Wherever you put highlight, it's gonna look bigger and brighter, so you just wanna put it on any little areas you wanna bring out. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of blush now. Ariana had a very sort of peachy tone on her cheek, so I'm just using a very similar shade just to create that on Aisha. Just underneath the pupil of the eye. The lashes are a really key part of this look. Ariana is always sporting some kind of fluffy lash or, or a cat eye lash. Um, so we want to make sure these are really blended nicely. I'm going to just start working on the brows. I mean, Aisha has a very similar shape to Ariana. It's quite a straight shape. So I'm just going to define the bottom edge a little bit more and add a little bit of thickness. So using a nice small pencil like this will allow us to create hair-like strokes. Mimic the direction of the hairs that are already there. I'm just going to make the hair stand out a little bit more with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Ariana has a very full pout, so we're going to recreate that using a few products without them looking too overdrawn or too big. Shade where the natural lip line is. Now Ariana's lip for the Billboard Music Awards was very glossy. We're going to go in with a Bare Minerals Lip Lacquer. If you have sort of a darker skin tone, you can go a little bit more burgundy, a little bit more purpley with the nude. If you have a lighter toned skin, go for sort of like a peachy nude. So obviously the look isn't complete without an Ariana Grande ponytail. So I'm just gonna pop on this extension ponytail. And there we have it. Right, you are all done. How much time do we have left? Three minutes. We're done. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Thanks. Do you wanna grab a cup of tea? Sure. Cheers to that. Yes.
I really love your red carpet transformation. I mean, the eyes are a lot darker compared to the first looks. So this one's all about yeah. the lashes and the wing. Now we've got your contour in as well. You're a lot more defined and the skin's a little bit heavier, but it's perfect for evening. The lips are definitely a lot fuller compared to the other looks, but I think they look amazing on you. Here is your Ariana transformation. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I really love the way my eyes look right now. They're really yeah. popping. Because you've got olive skin and dark hair. So when you wear a dark eye, it kind of just goes with everything that you've got going on. So, the ultimate question, do you feel like Ariana Grande? Yes, I feel like a dangerous <laughs> woman. I really love this look. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, you look amazing with and without makeup, so. Thank you.